This is day four. Your boy's in Austin. Time to get breakfast. I'm rejuvenated fully. I'm gonna explore so far. I love Austin. Not bad, not bad. A lot of music going on. Apparently there's some, a lot of music events going on since last night, so let's see what happens. We are in Austin, so here we are. We are close to downtown and I've been walking around so I can have give like a decently, a decent fair opinion and I can genuinely say so far it's been my favorite city to go. Um, who knows, maybe in the future I might move there. Austin, if you haven't been, definitely come. And when you talk to people, like you learn that like, honestly, a lot of people, including myself at times, like you are scared to talk to people. You're scared to kind of ask their opinions. You're scared to give your opinions, but genuinely people can actually expand your mind, give you new ideas, give you new ways of seeing things. So just ask them, you know, like, don't be scared. Don't be like feeling judged or whatever. People are nice, especially in Austin, you know, so be open to that and water break. I've been exploring around. I haven't really tried like a proper southern dish. I've tried some um, pastry and things like that, but I haven't really given any barbecue a challenge, which is very disappointing, but I generally have no space in my stomach. And I've been just walking around to get the steps in, burn some calories, because I haven't really been doing crazy workouts. So, right now the aim is to get to my car, head to Houston, and get some food from there, because, you know, at, the, at least right now I'm not hungry at all, so. Thankfully, the experience has been really good. The food experience could have been made way better, but it's okay. We, we still have Houston on the way. So I'm gonna go try something out there. And yeah, Austin, thank you for everything. I'll see you when I'm coming back from Miami. Yo, I just found like an interesting farm. I don't know if you zoom in, like you see the, you see the freaking zebras right there. One right there, there's like some right there. Um, you see right there, but Long story short, I was like, no, I gotta like stop here. Like, there are like a lot like here in this area. Um, but it's interesting because I haven't seen zebras just like hanging around like in a little like kind of form uh, format, just hanging around. And there's like a lot of goats on the other side. This is like, I mean, like I'm almost getting close to Houston, like on the road from Austin to Houston. And I saw like the zebras, I'm like, I gotta stop and show the people, you know what I mean? Like, it's very interesting because uh, it's very, very cool, you know? They're just chilling here, just hanging out with the buddies, eating grass and shit. Um, but the sunset is also like right there, beautiful lighting. Um, but yeah, so far it's been good. Austin was beautiful too. Now let's see what Houston has, has to offer. I don't think I'm gonna stay in Houston, but I'll see, I, I might get a barbecue. So if they have some good stuff, I'll check it out. And then overall, yeah, there's like so good, so much good noise. I know my hair is messy. I, I didn't do like a slick back, but this is easier. I was too lazy today. You see all the, I think it was right there, right there, you see, in that region. Let me zoom in actually just for a final time. There's the traffic, you see like right there, and then over there too. Barely any cars, but that's about it. So I'll check in with you when I go to Houston. So bye-bye. Okay, so finally your boy arrived in Houston and it's time to get some food in. Austin to Houston, it was pretty easy drive, nothing going on crazy. It's time to eat some food, Korean, not Japanese barbecue. And let's see what happens. Like honestly, Houston so far, I mean, it's a night I haven't really explored. I just got to Houston, but so far it looks pretty interesting. I would say it's more industrious than Austin. Maybe I look, I feel like it's more bigger. It looks, there's more density with population wise. So that's what I noticed so far, but I haven't really explored again. So I'll let you know what's going on, but so far it's nice. I like the buildings, it's huge buildings. So yeah, but today it's gonna be very interesting. I don't even know if I'm gonna be staying in Houston. Most likely I would say, yeah, I will probably go to New Orleans, New Orleans after this, because I do want to get close to Miami because in a day or two, I definitely want to be in Miami, but so far I don't think I'm gonna stay in Houston. So yeah, the next move is just to kick it for a couple hours here and then go to New Orleans. And then, you know, after that, we're going to be in the beloved Miami. The whole point of the thing is to go to Miami. So, yeah, that's the plan. And I'll see you in a bit. I just finished my dinner. And during the dinner, when I was having my dinner, currently in Houston, you know, 
I wanted to prove something to myself and certain people in the audience. At times, you just gotta set your intention, be clear on that, and just let go, okay? I'll give you an example. So today, when I was getting water um, in the restaurant, I asked for the, the waitress to give me water, right? And he brought me these blue bottles. And I was really interested. I really liked it, I like the color, you see? So, during the time, I just asked him that, can I take it home? And he was like, yes, you can, right? But then I was like, if I, that's my intention, right? I already said my intention, I was like, I really wanna take it home. But here's what I did. When I was done, I didn't touch it. When I was done, I just left the bottle there, right? And I asked for another one, for another of these blue bottles. So I have two, right? I asked for another one and you know, I finished the water and I was like, okay, I already set the intention. I'm not even gonna like take it home. I'm just gonna let it be there, right? The waitress is gonna tell me, you know, like, are you taking it home? I can help you with that, right? So I didn't even pick it up. He already said it's good to go, right? But I didn't even pick it up. So he, uh, after I'm done, the first time he comes and he doesn't like, I, I thought he's gonna tell me like, oh, like, do you wanna take it home? He didn't say anything, right? But I was like, he's gonna come back and he's gonna tell me, right? So I wait, he goes, he comes back and he's like, he sees the blue bottles there and I wasn't like, if he doesn't say it, I'm not gonna take it home, even though he said you can. So I just left it there and he, when he came back, he was like, oh, like uh, you said like, you know, you wanna take this home, you want a bag? And I looked at him, I'm like, yes. I'm like, okay, there we go. I set the intention, it was good to go. So I got this, you know. And here's the thing, just like the example that I said, at times certain things are not gonna happen at the time that you want. I was like, oh, like if he comes to, if he comes and tells me, oh, like the very first time I'm like, oh, you want a bag, then, you know, it's, you know, it's perfect. If he doesn't, then it's got wrong, right? That happened and I was like, no, it's still gonna happen. So the guy went, came back. The second time he was like, oh, do we want a bag for these blue bottles, right? So the whole main point of the story is that, listen, at times you just gotta set your intention. You gotta let go and let universe do its thing, right? So you may look at the stories and like, this story is kind of weird, like it doesn't make sense. But if you pay attention, you're gonna get the wisdom and the value out of it because a lot of people let the external things control their mind. A lot, they let their ex external situations affect their mind and influence it. So here is what I'm gonna ask you, right? If you set a clear intention, and if you have clear ideas on it, and if you know what you want, and if you have, if you have strong emotional conviction on it, then just set the intention and let go, right? So I just, you know, I set my intention, I just let go, and the guy just came to me, and I was like, even though he told me you can take it home, I was like, I'm not gonna take it home unless he tells me. And the first time he doesn't, the second time he comes back, he gives me a bag and he's like, you can take it home. So remember, set your intention. And right now I'm in Houston. I know I'm talking, I'm yapping about a lot, but right now I'm gonna go to downtown Houston. We're gonna um, you know, explore around, see what's gonna, uh, what's happening there. I'll show you around and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. So currently I'm in downtown Houston. Look at the beauty, beautiful buildings, long. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of people coming here and there. Currently, I'm in downtown Houston, and it's not a lot of people going on. There's a lot of people with scooters and stuff, so I don't know what's going on, but I guess it's like an event. Like I saw like probably 100 or 150 people with scooters. After this, I'm gonna go to New Orleans, Louisiana. Apparently they got some good, good barbecue, so I'll try. I didn't get the opportunity to try American barbecue in freaking Texas, I ate Japanese barbecue because of natural forces, but we shall move. And New Orleans, Louisiana, I'm gonna be there in very, very soon. This is the end for day four from Austin to Houston to almost New Orleans. Tomorrow I'm gonna be able to get to New Orleans. So it's been a quite a long ride but I've been moving around, like a lot of walks, a lot of good food, so a lot of great experiences. Plus, like I talked to again, like 25 people, very, very interesting uh, things that they said about the town. Very, I asked also interesting questions due to different situations, but tomorrow is gonna be much more, I guess, actually, I don't know. I would say today has been quite eventful, but tomorrow, I don't know, it depends. I don't really know much about New Orleans, so we'll find out. But for today, I'm pretty much done with everything. I just have to do my reading and that should be it. And that's it. I'll see you tomorrow with the new updates. Good night.